You both are going to be doing a couple of questions. My first question is, how is your ride here? Quick. Pretty quick. <laughs> Pretty quick, yay. Hot. Hot and quick. Nice. Uh, how did the name The Standstills become the name for the band? Uh, I didn't come up with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it was just kind of a conversation about... Well, first of all, coming with a band name is really hard. <laughs> I think we went through quite a few names before we picked this one, but we were, uh, we were thinking of like a Western standoff. And then we kind of thought, stand still, stand off, and then um, kind of like the height of emotion <clears throat> where everything yeah. seems to stand still, but it's not standing still at all. It's like that height, like your angriest point, your saddest point, your happiest point, that kind of thing. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, what inspires you to create your own style of music? Life. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and like everything, I mean, I, we're very passionate about uh, about other bands, and, and like we're re very into like we're we're huge fans of music as well. So I think like uh, that being huge fans of music always inspires us to to want to do what uh, what other musicians do or artists do, and that sort of thing. And then just the uh, the need to be creative, I think that there has always been that need for the both of us to to be creative to some level in life, and uh, so being able to do that to the extremes that we're doing it right now, we couldn't be happier. So it's it's that's I think it's just kind of embedded in us to want to write and create. Well, I just have to say it was an amazing job that you guys did with the video for New Orleans. Oh, thank like, you. It, it was just like completely. Yeah out of the park <laughs> and then Thanks, you just man. brought out uh, Rise of the Fall mm -hmm. which is completely another out of the park video uh, I just wanted to say that you, excellent job on both of the videos guys thank, thank you. you and um, do you guys write all your own your own music or do you have somebody that, that comes in to help you or no we we um, pride ourselves on that really like this is kind of our project you know we don't really we're not one of those bands that get songs from other people although sometimes it's fun to do like a cover here and there and not to say that we don't jam with other musicians and that sort of thing like we do and I think that it's important to to kind of uh, step outside your box once in a while and, uh, so yeah but we were we write all our own material and, and that sort of thing always have <laughs> what are some moments in your life that you rise above those moments uh, getting out of bed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's always a struggle. <laughs> when it's like minus 35 yeah. and you're like, I gotta rise above this moment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need to get out of that. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is one thing that you have not done that you really want to do? many things <laughs> uh, for me mostly gig related like a, like mm. it has to do with like, certain venues I love and have seen bands play and, and uh, that sort of thing and really it has to do with uh, uh, the band and the uh, and like creating the great music and great albums and that sort of thing and I think that's always kind of been my focus I'm uh, the same way. Outside of that, though, I think we we we've always wanted to see uh, do it like like a whale um, <laughs> go out onto the ocean to do, to uh, to kayak try to go yeah kayak with whales <laughs> yeah. is a big one, nice. which are kind of the same thing, aren't they? <laughs> what are some of the struggles you've found um, you know coming this far in your career? Um. Probably initially just finding that audience and uh, reaching out to them. Like now more than ever it becomes pretty easy with social media, but at the same time you're, you're a small fish in a really big pond, so yeah. um, harnessing like good fans and mm -hmm. getting and noticed, I think, and with amongst a lot of bands is probably the biggest challenge. Yeah, there's so many bands out there, so it's hard to break through sometimes, um, which then kind of forces us to at least it did, it forced us to wear many different hats, like doing like booking and when you're an independent, uh, it's really hard to break through. So we're, we're really fortunate enough to have such an amazing team behind us now, but it definitely was a struggle for a long time when it's just the two of us trying to do everything. 
and uh, to get noticed, to break through, to reach those fans. Um, yeah, that's that's probably uh, there's many many different struggles for sure. Do you two, have, um, as a couple, have any issues, you know, coming forth and doing, you know, with touring and stuff like that? Do you find it hard? Like as relationship wise, yeah. or yes. No, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be happier. So we both have the same goals, right? So when yeah. we start to see them realize, like touring is a big thing for us. Like, yeah. Yeah, we're all we're both we're we get loaded. really happy when when the further along we get. So that's awesome. Really. What are some things in this world that don't make you stand still? Treadmills, <laughs> stairmasters. <laughs> yeah, we are in the jungle. We're in the gym right now. <laughs> Where do you think you're going to be, you know, five years from now? Is there any bands that you um, want to play with that you haven't yet? It's, cool. There's You're too many, band? too yeah, many to so count, many. too many to count. But uh, where would we like to be? Was that the question? Mm -hmm. uh, touring the world. Be like being a, be able to reach the level of a headlining, touring international act, I think, has always been the goal. Mm -hmm. So the sooner the better would be great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are some things you do to prepare before going into the studio to work on an album? Practice. Yeah. Like, uh, we're kind of like, the mentality of, you know, time is money is so true in the studio. So, I mean, you don't want to waste anyone's time. So. Mm -hmm. We'll hit it pretty hard in the in our own rehearsal space and make sure we're going in fully prepared. I mean, a lot of things you can't prepare for, but you can be as best prepared. It's kind of like a like an athlete, you know, yeah, like right, right. Play game kind of thing. So. With uh, New Orleans, it was pretty much a story in itself in the video. With the upcoming album, are we going to be seeing some more uh, theatric storyline songs that that are like? New Orleans. Uh, yeah, like I, uh, you know, we're we're working away right now um, on creating something that will be uh, next level from what we just released. So the idea is that yeah, like continue to push on certain themes or push the envelope with uh, that theatric sort of thing, and uh, and then just always trying to succeed and and uh, try to try to create uh, the best music that we can create so for mm -hmm. sure like there's mm -hmm. there's absolutely stuff that that we're creating right now that ties in with the same sort of thing that Orleans was uh, mm -hmm. because that came from a certain place and we we're able to tap into that a little bit more mm -hmm. and uh, so we recognize that uh, that is something that people really um, connected with mm -hmm. and it's a goal of ours to continue that connection with our fan base and have them grow with us over time so we want to keep them uh, we want to keep keep that connection going. So, mm -hmm. well, it's it's a great job. Like, Thank I can you. see like the acting bugs are just coming out of you too. Like, it's just like it's amazing. Like, it's just. Thanks. I I never like thought of something like that could happen in a video. Like, it it was just it was yeah. like out of nowhere. It's just it was so well thought of, and I just want to say it was a really great. Well, we got to give credit yeah. to the uh, to Saint. I, I right. think and uh, and the team that was involved with uh, kind of coming up, they kind of came up with the whole concept and uh, and we were totally on board for it. Like it, it kind of suited the song very well, lent mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. So and mm -hmm. I think that he kind of knocked it out of the park in a <laughs> shorter shorter yeah. period of time than I yeah. think we all would have liked. But uh, the song climbed so quickly that oh, it did. Yeah. It, uh, we kind of had to jump at the opportunity to get that video out. Oh, it was great. Like, how nervous were you guys practicing in the boat? Like, how many times did you guys... It we, was not... Yeah. Yeah? That was never planned either. That's something that we kind of <laughs> threw out there as an idea. And then yeah. we ran into the right people and we executed it. But it was... It's not a boat you would set up equipment on. It was, yeah, it was yeah. The whole Gift time we thought, of. like, any moment we could end up in the water. So it was just like... <laughs> yeah. Now, was it... Sorry to interrupt, but was it grafted to your drum kit, like the boat? Like, how was it? How was your drum kit like anchored in the boat? It was a random fisherman's boat, so it's just a bass boat. That's all. It was. Oh, okay, all right. Well, it wasn't even check like. the drums on it, like it was. He wow. created a flat yeah. surface for it. No, it was already there. Yeah. yeah, with a roll bar, and then he took the roll bar. <laughs> oh, yeah, he took the roll bar, and then it yeah. just fitted. But nothing was anchored yeah. down. 
Oh, oh, not, oh wow. Well, I was. Anything it was pretty on. scary at points when we were. Well, when you're rocking out, the boat was just going like this, <laughs> and just yeah. seeing her practically like, play, it was just like, yeah. oh, this is gonna be a little bit. Were you always interested in playing the drums, or did you have any other instruments that you wanted to play? I, it was always the drums. It was always the drums. Yeah, someone I had a music teacher in my early years. Um, she kind of let everyone try every instrument, and whatever one you gravitated towards, she would let you run with it. And that was it for me, and that's all kind of stuff from there. I really like that you play drums. You know, uh, not very many women get behind the the scenes like that and do it. You know, they're always on the front. So, and when you play, you, play, you can just walk right out. It's so amazing. I, I really like that for you. Yeah. Um, what are you guys, what concerts and stuff are you playing after what the best? Uh, from here we're going to Timmins. I think they've just started a new festival called Rock the River. And then uh, we're heading out west. We're going to go to Victoria, Vancouver Islands for uh, another festival there. And then we're going to Grizzfest, which is in Tumblr Ridge, which is just a few hours north of Victoria. Yeah, there's lots of stuff. We're back in Lethbridge, yeah. and then uh, we just announced a tour with I'm of the Earth and Our Lady Peace. That's happening in the fall, so that's really exciting, too. Yeah, yeah that's the one I was actually uh, referring to. I was yeah. like, oh my goodness. So, so that's really ex exciting for you, eh? Um, oh, it's crazy. You know, being on the stage with Monster Truck and St. Estonia, and um, you know, I, I came here to see you guys actually. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. You know, not not to say anything about the other bands are very well as good, they're very good as well. Just you know. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So when you guys um, started out, you ran with it and. Like I said, you know, you have so many fan bases that were, were taking me with your music. I was, um, I thought, well, okay, okay, I'll check them out, right? Yeah. And then I've been trying to get to concerts ever since, so, you know, I'm glad I made it here to Twitter Great. the best, you know. Great. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, is there anyone that you would like to give a shout out to? Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> That's Hi, Mom. That's a good one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, John? Anybody? I uh, I don't know if I if I give a shout out to one person I'll leave too many people out. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're like I can't believe you didn't pick me. <laughs> I'm just gonna say hey to everybody. <laughs> hey to everybody. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Thank awesome. you guys. Do you guys have any um, words of wisdom for anybody that's just trying to start out or anything that you could give them just to you know encouragement or get away? <laughs> uh, just never stop doing what you're doing. If you if you're passionate about it and that yeah. drives you, just keep doing it. Yeah, and um, try to try to take everything with a grain of salt. Like try not to get too worked up about little things and that sort of stuff because it takes a lot of people to put uh, shows together, to put albums together, and all sorts of that stuff. So try to be appreciate the people that you work with. And then uh, it will, your life will be a lot easier. And don't be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, that counts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to thank you one more time from CKRZ 100.3, Boys of the Grand, and the Jungle Jane Show, and also from the Master Radio, Dr. Freakman here. And, you know, have a great day, and I can't wait to see you guys on stage. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Thanks, Thanks. guys.